have Sense of Their Scotland, we're campaigning for a comprehensive, publicly owned bus network that's free to everyone. And if that sounds ambitious, it should be, because we need an intervention on that scale to tackle climate change and to reduce inequality. At the moment, across most of Scotland, we've got a patchy, privatised bus network that's too expensive. Routes are being cut every year, it's not working. If we start some publicly owned bus operators that operate in the interests of passengers and not profit, this can connect people to education and employment opportunities. A publicly owned transport system, including buses, would revolutionise the whole city in terms of the fact it would be a lot cleaner, there would be so many less cars because no one would need to bring their car into the city. Across Scotland about a third of households don't have access to a car, in our bigger cities it's closer to a half. So it's wealthier households that are being served by a car as king mentality and those spending commitments on huge bypasses. The air pollution from traffic really damages our health, causing respiratory and heart problems but also cognitive impairments as well. As we emerge from the pandemic, protecting public health needs to be the priority. That means getting polluting vehicles out of cities and built up areas and prioritising walking and cycling. Buses are hugely important to our transport mix. They're by far and away the majority used public transport mode and they're used in particular by communities in urban areas on lower incomes. When we privatise our bus networks when they're expensive, unreliable, that's an equalities issue. It's people on lower incomes that are being harmed by that and people on higher incomes who are more likely to drive are gaining. Getting around your city should be a right that, that you have. Really having affordable fares it, it should be seen as a good health service and a good education service for all.